Why did you want to join the arts here? Um, 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 um. Um, well, for me, I was uh, I was interested in theater ever since I was a kid. I did a bunch of shows outside of um, my public school, um, and I wasn't and I was interested in the arts. I just didn't like my home school didn't have an arts program. My home school didn't do theater stuff, um, and so looking at post secondary options, I wanted a I found the program, and it was. It was something I checked out and it was something like they provided showcases and auditions and stuff like that where I got to just see kind of what it would, kind of what I'd be getting into and it was, um, it was an awesome opportunity to just talk with a lot of people with the same interests as me um, and it was just really cool and so that's why I came here, just to get more education in theatre. I wanted to join just because all through public school, I just, like, I loved music. And it gives you a lot of opportunity to just get into arts. It's one thing to take a music class, but if you actually take the arts class, it just gives you so many more opportunities. Well, I love music, and I've been surrounded by music my entire life, and so I decided to come to Huron so that I could further my education in music. Well, I saw the arts. I saw the arts here on poster. And I was just like, oh, that looks really cool. I saw that animation was a grade eleven prerequisite, and I was just like, that's a class I want to take, so I'm going to take it. So I need to go in the arts here on for that. Um, I figured out I wanted to do an arts here on program in grade eight when I went to the arts here on showcase, and I saw all of the beautiful musicians. Yeah, it's honestly the same for me. Um, I really wanted to try something different in high school and expand out of my comfort zone. And I think that the Arts Huron program really helped with doing that. Well, my mom, she was a big artist and I really enjoyed drawing and painting. And I saw that Huron was a big arts program and I thought I want to like do art in the future. So I joined it. Explain what it was like your first year here. How have you grown? My first year, I'd say I've definitely grown in terms of, I guess I've become more open with people and I've made a lot more friends than what I had when I first started. And my art abilities have also gotten a lot better with all of the classes I've been able to take. Okay, so my first year in the Arts Huron program was awesome. So when we went in from our audition, it was with the same kids that we did audition with, so it was awesome. There were some familiar faces, and everyone in the program was very nice, so it was easy to make friends and feel comfortable in that environment. Ditto. <laughs> I joined a year late than everybody else, so it was a little messy, and then COVID came around, so it was a little messy. But this last year where we've been in school has been really lovely to meet everyone finally and really develop some friendships. <laughs> it's been very lovely, very lovely. When I was in grade nine, obviously I came to the school, I didn't know it. I think I knew two or three people who were my cousins. So like, that was it. And I remember like on the first or second day, I had my music class or my, my vocal class because I was I auditioned for drama and vocal in grade eight, and I got into both, but I chose vocal because that's what I was more interested in at the time. Um, and in grade nine, I, oh my god, I don't even, like, I don't even recognize her at all. Like, but it's, like, I just, because I've just learned so much, and I've met all these people who, like, I don't know, accept you, or, and you learn, and, you know, you get a deeper understanding for, like Curtis said, for, like, the arts, and just for empathy around people for people around you yeah. and... And that's the other thing is you make, you make friends with people so much easier within the program because it's people that share the same interests as you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's, 
it's people that want to do the same stuff. You guys can work on personal projects together. Yeah. You got like it's you branch off into all these different directions and it's it's so much cooler. Yeah. And when I look back on like grade nine, because that because then I moved to drama in grade ten, I just feel like so lucky that like these are the people that I got to be with for four years. But yeah. So with, in my grade nine year, I met so much new friends. Like obviously there was people that came into the program, left the program, and just the, the people that stayed, and even just the people that we met. It was so fun, and I learned so much new types of art. Like um, I learned how to shave properly. I learned how to do still lives. I never would have done some still lives before. Um, we even did sculpting. I sculpting was something. I really, I really love sculpting, but I never would have thought I would have been able to do it before. My first year was a little difficult with the COVID shutdown. I got about a semester and a half. I enjoyed it so much. I had a great time, loved all of the classes, all the teachers. Um, COVID complicated that, but when we were in person, I had a great time. And growing wise, I've come into myself so much through being with the art kids. They've just shown me that it's okay to be who you are. Big things that the program has given you, like friends, skills, opportunities, life lessons. Uh, I've learned a lot about techniques that I wouldn't have otherwise known if I hadn't taken those courses, so that was very helpful. Absolutely friendship. Um, not many places you meet people who are just as into weird art niches as you. Um, it helped my social skills definitely because I didn't know how to talk to people and now I kind of know how to talk to people. Um, I don't think anywhere else could have given me the best training that I got here. I definitely improved technically. Definitely more skill to do like drawings, like shading, referencing, all that stuff. Probably confidence. Confidence is like the biggest thing it's given me. Confidence and ability to prove myself with music and just in other classes too. The program is really good for making friends because you obviously meet people that have similar interests to you and also possible like career options in the future. So you're not only meeting friends, you're meeting colleagues. And it also really helps because there's a support system that really builds you up and it's easy to become comfortable and just meet a lot of great people. What are your favorite memories of the program? Um, I think a lot of the music day events that we have are definitely some favorite memories. Uh, earlier this year, I got pied in the face by one of the people in this music department. So that was pretty fun. That's a, that's a hard one to choose. Um, I know for me personally, I'm sure this goes for everyone, but one of my biggest ones was actually just this past month, we did our um, senior, well not senior production, sorry, we did our um, theater production of Clue, um, which was um, definitely stressful, um, yes. as all productions are, but it was definitely one of the best theater experiences I've, I've had, and I've been doing theater since grade seven. Um, but yeah, doing Clue and just oh, yeah. making friends with everyone and getting closer with the friends I already had to begin with, um, it's definitely something I won't forget and I'll definitely hold on to that for a very long time in the future. So. I agree. Like, all of the pr big productions we did this year, like when we had at least, especially Clue, when we had like all of the grades together, it really did, like, 
I think everyone really got a chance to bond with each other, especially it's like the grade nines and the grade twelves, they finally got to like, since COVID happened, meet each other and yeah. become like a family. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I know there's that like, um, that cliche of like only being friends with the people in your grade, but mm -hmm. honestly, I know we've all become super close with, we're, we're seniors in grade 12, but I know we've become super good friends with the 9s, 10s, and the 11s. And honestly, I prefer it that way, just being friends with everyone and not really just having those separate groups in the grades and just having everyone together. as like, And that, that's the reason why I can't really choose a favorite because yeah. there's so many. Literally. Because with all these people, we spend four years with these people. So. <laughs> every every yeah, spot all the time. <laughs> Probably just enjoying my time in my class with my friends because all my other classes are just like I don't talk to anybody really in my other classes unless they're already my friends. So being in a program where we've been almost the same group since grade nine, it's just been always coming into the class familiar faces, knowing that you're going to be doing something you enjoy, like art and since we came into our school before pre-COVID, we didn't really, our grade night trips were very fun and I wish we got more opportunities to be able to do those, but since we only got to a couple, luckily in the future I think there's going to be more, but just enjoying my time with my friends and doing art. Probably the TSO, the Toronto Symphony Orchestra, Getting to go there and see all those like bigger artists and musicians and seeing them play, it's just, it's a different experience. Advice you would give your grade 8 self? Um, to not be afraid, I think. To definitely um, excel in things you love. To become part of a great community. Yeah, just to go for it. Like, everyone here is so supportive. Um, just always go for what you want um, and have no regrets. Don't be shy with art, like do what you want, like do what you like. Um, I was a perfectionist, so just draw it. If you don't like it, put it away and then come back to it later on. Um, don't hold back. I, I was very reserved, like I didn't really want to do anything. So I definitely say don't hold back. Work on your tone. Your art is fine, just hand things in. Um, learn how to talk to people. They're not scared of you. You're just scared of them. It's fine. <laughs> I would tell her to take the arts here on pro program. I very much regret not doing that. I'd say some advice I'd give to my grade A itself would be not to be so unsure about my art skills. I think that I was better at art than I thought I was, and that if I had believed in myself a little more, maybe I would have taken it. To not be afraid. You are going to fail. It's inevitable, but failure is room to grow. Um, I think just to really like look at all of the courses and get a wide range of all of them, because they do offer so many here. So try things out of your comfort zone and don't just like stick to things that you are familiar with because the more you learn, like that's what high school is about. Yeah, just calm down. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. It's, it's, it's a piece of cake, man. It's fine. <laughs> and once you get the process over with, you're like, why was I stressed about that? Yeah. 